Okay, once upon a time there was a brave knight named Sir Geoff. Sir Geoff was strong, brave, and handsome. Of course he was. Problem? Yeah, actually. What if he wasn't the strongest? Or, you know, the best at everything? Okay, so Sir Geoff was a bit new at being a knight and had had his butt kicked his fair share of times. But this made him a better person. Better. Sir Geoff was off on a hunt with a couple of more advanced knights. He basically just carried their stuff. When out of nowhere, a giant griffin swooped down, snatched up Sir Geoff, and took off towards its nest. Oh my god, a mama griffin? I bet she has a huge wingspan and an extra sharp talons that cut through his clothes and... Hey! My story. Fine. As the griffin soared closer to the nest, Sir Geoff tried once more to reach his sword. But the griffin's talons held him firmly in place. The griffin dropped him amongst four large silver eggs. Do griffins even lay eggs? Sure. It's the eagle in them, plus mythical. So anything's possible. So Geoff goes up to one of the eggs and taps on it. Like an idiot. He's still young and stupid. Luckily, the egg stays quiet. The griffin is gone, and Geoff needs to escape. He quickly starts tying vines together, but then realized... He's on a cliff, and no rope would help him. He had to wait for the beast to return and fight his way out. How often does this thing abandon its eggs? It had to go hunt, so of course it has to leave. Shut up! That evening, when the griffin returns with a dead deer, Sir Geoff tries to hide, but there is only so much to take cover behind. Human, it says, come out, let me see you. Wait, 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 what? This thing talks now? Again, it's mythical, and my story. Whatever. Sir Geoff cautiously approaches the beast. What do you want from me, beast? He demanded. Well, for starters, you could call me by my proper name. My name is Relica. I'm the last of my flock, so once my children hatch, you're going to teach them the tricks of man so that we may last another generation. Why would I do that? Your kind has slaughtered many villages, burning our homes. Your kind deserves to go extinct. My kind? My kind was here first. Your kind drove us from our nest, burning everything. And if you won't help us, I'll eat you and find another. Your kind is plentiful. Wow, angry mama bird. Kind of dumb though. Teach your own kids. Yeah, teach kids about traps you don't know and don't even have an example of. What do I get out of this then? Sir Geoff questioned. If he was just going to die anyway, you get your life and our protection. We will be allies at the least. Sir Geoff pondered. He was never that great, and maybe this would be his moment. Bring an alliance to the kingdom that no other would have. Friends with griffins. Monsters? Creatures. Maybe he could befriend these creatures. All right, I'll help you. For an alliance, and that means you won't attack the kingdom, correct? Of course. I just want my chicks to be safe. So Sir Geoff lives with the griffin until the chicks hatch, then he taught them all about humans, the weapons and traps, but also the good parts, like farming, friendship, and music. Please don't start singing. I won't. Trust me. Once the griffins grow up to be young, adulty griffins, Sir Geoff brings them to the kingdom under a flag of peace. He then helps establish an alliance, and both sides are pleased with the alliance. The young griffins get to learn more about humans and decide to stay close by. Because that's a good idea. They're going to get so domesticated, like dogs. People who have pet griffins, that's messed up. What's so bad about a friendly griffin? Anyways, Sir Geoff gets promoted to Baron, and the kingdom lives in peace. The end. Kind of a cliche ending, but I like it. Good. Now go to bed, pest. Okay. Night, jerk.